What's up, breathing people? Welcome back to another Daily Breaths. I hope you are doing well today. We're going to be getting back into a devotional book. So if you want to do this with me, I'm just going to be going straight through. Um, we're going to start like we used to start by doing 30 seconds of silence. If you've never done this before, you should implement this into your life because it is one of the most transformative practices. Um, I've been doing it a lot lately. I've been needing it a lot lately. I'll do it for 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever I can squeeze into my day, and it is so helpful. Uh, it's not a meditation. It is a time to just be with God, just be in loving union with God, and it's fantastic. So we're going to do 30 seconds of that just to give you a little taste. Uh, set timer for 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds. Let's do it together. Give me some time to catch my breath. Cool. Thank you for doing that with me. 30 seconds is a great starting point. Um, I would recommend two minutes to actually start if you can, because that just gives you enough time to really feel the effects of that silence. Like that right now felt like two seconds to me. Um, but I just want to give you a little taste. So today's uh, reading, it's going to be first out of the Bible, John 15, 4 through 5, verses 8 through 9 and 12. Uh, it says, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, but must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is apart from Jesus. This is to my Father's glory and that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Loving well is the essence of true spirituality. It requires experiencing connection with God, with others, and with oneself. It begins, however, with our response to God's invitation to practice his presence in our daily lives. He then invites us to practice the presence of people with an awareness of his presence. But learning to practice his presence is no small task. There is perhaps no greater teacher to offer us this insight on how to do this than Brother Lawrence, an obscure 16th century Carmelite monk from Paris. He resolved to live in continual awareness of God's presence, to never forget him from one moment to the next. In fact, he did define prayer as simply cultivating an awareness of the presence of God. That's cool. These words from Brother Lawrence have served me well over the years, helping me to remain in Jesus when I am distracted. So this is from Brother Lawrence. The time of business does not differ from the time of prayer. And in the noise and the clatter of the kitchen, while several persons are at the same time calling from, uh, for different things, I possess God in a great tranquility as if I were upon my knees. I make it my business only to preserve in his holy presence, persevere in his holy presence, which I may call an actual presence of God, or to speak better, an habitual, silent, and secret conversation of the soul with God. Jesus said it simply, If we remain in him, allowing ourselves to be held in his embrace, his life will flow out from us to others. If we choose not to remain in him, we have little, if anything, to offer to others. So the question for today is, when can you set aside uninterrupted time each day to begin cultivating an awareness of the presence of God. So that's the devotional for today. The question to consider. I hope you take this to heart. 
I am definitely going to be taking this to heart. This is the first time going through this devotional, so we're going to do it together. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. Remember the presence of God. Goodbye.